What's up guys, this is Dustin Stelzer with another episode of Electrician U, and today we're going to talk about how a switch loop works. Switch loops for apprentices, these are like mysterious unicorns. <laughs> California three ways or illegal three ways or dead dead end three ways whatever you call them um, those types of three ways and switch loops were one of the hardest things for me to grasp my head around I'm like how in the hell are you making this work and every apprentice that I've trained it like it's like a brick wall that hits them in the fucking face it's just really hard for them to understand it without seeing it drawn um, so I'm gonna do my best to try to explain how a switch loop works today all right, so let's talk about first, like the reasons that you would use a switch loop. So normally when, you, uh, when you're wiring a room and you have um, your light switch and you've got a light, normally how that switch works is that we bring our hot, we bring our hot into here, we bring a neutral which we just tie under a wire nut and then we have a, a separate 12 2 that goes from this switch box up to this light so you would have your switch leg that goes up and connects to the light and then you'd have your neutral that comes out of this wire nut and it goes up to the light so what you're creating is a path that comes from our panel let's just say panel hot, neutral. So we've got a path that goes through this switch. It connects through here when you flip the switch on, sends current all the way through this light, goes through that itty bitty tiny little filament and comes out and goes through the neutral and it has a path all the way to the back. Remember in a, an electrical circuit, you have to have a, a constant loop. You have to have a continuous path for current to be able to travel. And in AC electricity, it travels back and forth really, really fast. But if you break that at all, if you turn the switch off, current completely stops moving. So with all of that in mind, the whole idea behind wiring a regular switch, just any old regular two gang, three gang, four gang, single gang, doesn't matter, any switch, even three ways. The idea is that you run your hot into the switch first and then you run your switch leg out of there and go up to the light. That's just the methodology. So this is going to be our normal. All right, so the difference in a switch loop is that instead of bringing our incoming hot over to the switch first and then running our leg up and creating a loop that comes back to the panel, we're gonna bring our hot into the light and this light's gonna be up in the ceiling or wherever. There's a lot of different places that it could be. But the whole idea is that you're sending a hot and a neutral into here and you're leaving that neutral up. You're not going to run a neutral down here because a switch doesn't need a neutral. A switch just needs a hot in and a hot out. It's the same one piece of wire. You can think of a switch as basically one wire that goes from the panel all the way up to a light. And what you're doing is you're putting a switch in the middle of it to be able to turn that off and disconnect that wire and cut it in half basically. Um, so for a switch loop to work, we don't need a neutral down here, which is cool because that frees up one wire. So normally when I wire a switch loop, I have an incoming hot. And I have an incoming neutral. From here, I'm going to leave this neutral up in this box. So I'm just going to go like that to represent like that's where that stops. It's just we're leaving the neutral up there because the actual light fixture that we're going to put up has a black and a white wire in it and a ground. But you're going to hook the fixtures neutral up to this neutral. So you just leave it there. For our hot, we're going to take and uh, we're going to use the white conductor that's in the 12-2 that we're running down from this light box all the way down a wall to the switch. We're going to use the white conductor 
to send our hot down and we're going to use the black conductor to send back up. Now, uh, to make this a little bit simpler, I'm going to draw these wires out. You're, you're going to take your hot wire, your black conductor that comes into this box, your incoming power, and you're going to wire nut it with the white wire from this box that goes down to the switch. So I'm going to draw a little red wire nut on there. So that's your first joint that you're going to make. Then you have your black wire coming back up that's in that 12-2, and that black wire is going to hook up to your actual fixture. So both of these are now what is going to hook your fixture up. When you take that chandelier, that pendant, or whatever, you know, do a little bit of artistry for y'all. Say we've got some... Uh, we've got a pendant. That pendant is going to have a black wire, and it's going to have the neutral. That neutral is going to end up hooking up here, and this black is going to end up hooking up to there. But that's it. That's everything. That's how a switch loop works. All it is is switching from a different location and sending two conductors down to a switch. They can be blue and fucking orange. It doesn't matter. It does. There's codes. Local codes are going to tell you like what conductors you need to use, what colors you need to use. But it's the same thing. A lot of people think that the white conductor in a 12-2 is always neutral. It's not. It's just another conductor. Um, just because it's white, get out of the get out of the habit of thinking as the white. It can only be neutral, and white is always neutral. It's not. Now there are some places I will say this in the country. There's some places that do not let you do switch loops because what you're doing is you're potentially creating a dangerous situation. You're sending your hot down on a white wire that goes down here, and if you don't label it black or something, and like actually put some sort of label on it so that it's, people know it's hot, some young helper or some like you know, inexperienced husband could be sitting there opening this box up and they pull the white wire off and they're like, oh, I've heard that the black one's the hot one. I can just take the white one off and boom, he gets shot. So there's some places, and that's valid. I mean, it's absolutely a valid concern to think about. Um, but So there's some places in the country that do not allow that. Um, some codes have been made, like here in Austin, there's a code that says that you actually have to run a hot and a neutral into every switch box. Um, you can't have any switch box that does not have a neutral present. And there's another reason why, I mean, a lot of these like high-tech advanced switches now that are like um, Radio Raw or uh, like, you know, anything that's an automation system, um, a lot of those devices require there to be a neutral in the box. Otherwise, the device is not going to work. But again, that's just getting into later shit. We'll talk about that in, in much, much later videos. But for now, this is the idea of how like you how you could actually do this and make this work. Again, I'm just going to cover one last time. You have an incoming hot that's tied to a white wire that goes down to a switch. Then in that same 12-2, the black wire comes up and hooks up to your fixture, and the neutral hooks up to the incoming neutral that comes in that box because we didn't have to run a neutral down here. We just left the neutral up in the box. Um, let, me guys, let me know if that's like muddy at all, if you guys have any... Uh, misunderstandings or don't know what the hell I'm talking about, um, leave some comments below. You can also go to electricianu.com. You can leave comments under the videos there. You can email me, Dustin, at electricianu.com. You can go to the Facebook group, The Electrician U. You can go on Twitter uh, at electrician underscore U. I'm on Instagram, too. I've been doing Instagram stories and just you know, like interacting on Instagram, showing some of the work that I'm doing, doing some previews of episodes. Um, talking with a lot of people. Um, it's just a fucking astounding how many people use Instagram. So uh, go check out Instagram and, and uh, hit me up there. Um, I do check the messenger there. So anyways, let me know if you guys have any ideas, any thoughts, any uh, concerns, any like what the fuck are you talking about I still don't understand. Um, and I can do a one-off with you if you don't really understand what's going on. So I love you all. Be safe. Do good work. And uh, love this fucking trade, man. It's awesome. See you later.